Okay, so it's been almost two full days now since these anti-government mobs attacked a Russian man in Pakia simply because he disagreed with them verbally. They physically attacked him. He was injured. Uh, the man who attacked him headbutted him in the face. Blood was coming out of his face. This man was arrested and later released on bail for 10,000 baht. Now, I predicted that organizations like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty Thailand would not say anything at all about this, and I was absolutely correct. And it wasn't a lucky guess. It's because that's what these organizations do. They pose as human rights advocates, but what they actually do is hide behind human rights to promote a political agenda, and also, in this case, sedition the overthrow of the current Thai government. The reason why this is because these are not, again, these are not genuine human rights groups and all you have to do is follow the money who funds them. And they're not funded by Thai people who care about human rights. They're funded by foreign governments and foreign based corporate foundations like convicted financial criminal George Soros's Open Society Foundation. Uh, the Amnesty International, even though they say they have no connections with uh, any government actually do receive money from the British government and Amnesty's US subsidiary actually brings in staff from the US State Department. It's a revolving door. So obvious, obvious conflicts of interest um, for obvious reasons. You know, the US State Department creates policy that tramples human rights around the globe. So what do you think the reason is for bringing US State Department staff into Amnesty? to expose this and stop it or to help cover it up. And this is the real problem with organizations like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty Thailand. They're filling up a space in society that a real human rights organization should be in. And what they're doing is they're exploiting people's trust in them because a lot of money is invested in building up their brands and building up the public's trust in those brands. And when a human right abuse takes place, the public expects them to speak up about it. And if they don't speak up about it, the public assumes that everything is okay. And so when Sue and I here in Human Rights Watch Thailand didn't say anything about this Russian being attacked by these anti-government mobs, people probably assume that uh, maybe this news is not entirely true or there must be more behind it because Sue and I didn't say anything about it. But this is what Sunai does here at Human Rights Watch. He's actually enabling human rights abuses because if Sunai spoke up each time and every time a human rights abuse took place, no matter who did it, every side would be more careful about policing their own and trying to prevent this violence from ever happening again. And yet his silence in this case is complicity. The anti-government mob well, no, hey, the next time we commit violence, Sunai won't say anything about it. Amnesty Thailand won't say anything about it. I law, Thai lawyers for human rights, they're obviously not going to say anything about it. And even the entirety of the Western media, the opposition media here in Thailand, they never said anything about it. So really, we, we have the green light to do whatever we want because no matter what we do, no matter how obviously criminal, these people will cover it up for us. So I, don't, I really don't know what to do about this problem. Other countries have very strict NGO laws that prevent organizations like this from even operating within their borders. For Thailand, if they want to continue allowing, you know, Human Rights Watch and Amnesty Thailand and the U.S. National Endowment for Democracy funded groups to continue operating in Thailand, I think they should have them restructure and rebrand to reflect what they actually are, and that's political lobbyists. Now, I put a lot of references in the video description below. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Um, if you can subscribe to the channel, it really helps it grow. And as always, thank you very much for watching.